Playoffs rocking in three, two, one, go. We are underway here at Playoffs at Chessy Champs. Playoff match number one, your number one seed versus your number eight seed. The number one seed, 254, 1678, clearing all those game pieces from midfield, as are the Blue Alliance, your number eight seed. Both alliances had a robot on and balanced. It's the Red Alliance that takes the lead as we head into Teleop. 35-38, giving a little hip check to the Robot Dolphins as they both make their own cycles. Robot Dolphins dropping game pieces down low for the Red Alliance, while their partners, 1678 and 254, focus on some of the higher areas. 254 slamming into their human player station. They grab a cone, they're gonna place it up high, complete a link for the Red Alliance. But on the opposite side of the field, after a little bit of a traffic jam, Spectrum are scoring. They're dodging their twin to go grab game pieces. 971, the robot with as many degrees of freedom as I have fingers. They are headed towards their loading zone, grabbing a cone, gonna head back and go score it for the Blue Alliance. Make up the deficit they have to Blue. It is closer than one might expect. A little over a minute to go. Citrus Circuits placing a cone for the Red Alliance. 254 now starting to work on the hybrid row. Red Alliance just a couple game pieces away from filling up their grid. The Blue Alliance, Robo Jackets, 971. Placing some game pieces. The Red Al Blue Alliance now completed their top two rows. It's all hybrid from here on out. 254, 1678. Completing their grid. It's now trying to supercharge some of these nodes. These alliances are putting up scores unfathomable to regular season play, but this is Chessy Champs, folks. This is incredible levels of play right here. Red Alliance supercharging these nodes. Blue Alliance now able to as well. They have filled up their grid under 30 seconds remaining. 1678 placing a cone on mid on top of another cone. That's yielding more and more and more points. Blue Alliance getting ready to balance as are the Red Alliance 254, 5199. 1678 electing to not do their signature move. They're climbing on the normal route. Both alliances get balanced with less than five seconds remaining as time expires on our heroes. And the scores for that first match are in. It's gonna be your Red Alliance taking it 225 to 203. Subtracting the foul points, that is still three points more than the world record set at the Houston Championships. As a result of winning this match, your Red Alliance is advancing to match seven, staying in the upper bracket. Your Blue Alliance, they're going to match five, they're gonna be in the lower bracket. One loss there, and they will be eliminated. Let's have a look at that bracket. And let's take you to RSN and break down that match for us. Welcome back to the Robo Sports Network desk, everyone. Match one kicks off things here at playoffs uh, for Chessy Champs 2023. Steve, Evan, what did you guys think of that match? Well. I think that it was obvious that the Red Alliance was going to have a great match after they had a perfect autonomous mode and then they started into their cycles 
with 51.99 picking up game pieces picking up game pieces from in between the two loading zones just really short cycles they and 1678 entering their community over their charge station and leaving via the short path very very good flow from the red alliance yeah i mean made some coordination all around um to put up what blue score was and still lose the match. I mean, we saw it earlier in qualifications. We're still seeing it in playoffs. Just incredible. And 225 points for the Red Alliance with a five-point foul, even if you subtract that off. That is an unpenalized world record high score. Uh, just absolutely incredible stuff here to kick it off. That was the number eight alliance putting up a full grid, supercharged nodes, and over 200 points. So we're in for a real show this afternoon. Absolutely. One thing he mentioned, I believe, at the end of last night was... Uh, needing to be able to grab all eight gate pieces uh, at the center of the field during auto, and both our first and our eighth seed were able to achieve that. So that just goes to show how amazing these top eight alliances are. Yeah, the Blue Alliance wasn't able to score them all, but they were able to clear them all, and that's still very important, and that led to them jumping up the score very quickly, not able to keep pace with the Red Alliance. Uh, they do have an, a life. They're still alive in this tournament. They do go down to the lower bracket, and we will see them later. Yep, up next we have match two of our playoff bracket. We are getting Alliance 4 versus Alliance 5. So we've got over on red uh, 4270 joining uh, 148 and 2075 with 2910 uh, joining, joined by 5460 and 1619. These are two very high power alliances. And I mean, our alliance selection was something that we haven't seen very frequently. A lot of declines coming out from a, a, a high seed, and that breaks up a lot of these top teams. But Chessy Champs is so deep that both of these alliances are going to put up incredible scores. There's going to be a lot of... It's going to be based on execution here. I don't see a clear favorite. We will have to see how things shake out here in match two. We're going to send it out of the field for introductions for playoff 